Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to make the saran wrap game. A lot of people have been making this game for many, many years, and I think my kids have even played this game a couple times. Yeah, I think so my big kids that. have, and maybe some of the little kids have. Huh? So I've never really put this game together, but I'm gonna be doing a little kid one and a big kid one for Thanksgiving, for our uh, games for Thanksgiving. So you can do this for birthdays, you can do this for uh, Christmas. We also are probably gonna be doing another one for Christmas with my sister-in-law. So this one, but that's just gonna be one. So today's video, I'm gonna share both what I am going to add to you know their thing. So I just thought of something right now that I need to add to this and I will get that in a minute um, but we were trying to find things that were funny or maybe just little little gay gifts kind of thing for uh, this and I went to Dollar Tree and Walmart and Fleet Farm and I don't think I got anything from Hobby Lobby it's just mainly from Walmart and stuff that I've been just kind of looking around so right now they have things that are either good priced for stuff like this. Walmart has like clearance items that you can grab maybe like ahead of time and just uh, save them for the end of the year. So like right now, our Walmart has a clearance aisle where they have like little odds and ends kind of things and you can just save it for birthday or whatever. You could also give this as a gift for that, that person for Christmas or, and not even play it as game, but just do it for a birthday gift. So it's really cool. I think it's really fun and exciting. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna put the game together yet. Um, a lot of people will use a dice game where it's like, uh, they have to roll it and then they have to pass it back or they roll it and they have to pass it forward two times, something like that. They also have it where you can play music, like a musical chair kind of thing. And then they also have it with dice where if you shake matching, then you can move it, um, then it has to be moved. You also have to play with mitts. So I got my mitts at, um, or hot pads, hot mitts at the Dollar Tree. So a dollar twenty-five for these and some of the other stuff, um, you know, that I got from Dollar Tree. Candy I got from Walmart. Um, but you play the game with this, you need a lot of saran wrap. So I did get two packages of that at Dollar Tree. I also had some on hand. And then I also have the see-through, like see-through, well, it's Easter stuff, but see-through wrap that we use for our kids' baskets. And I had one left. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe use this too. I don't know if this is gonna work as good probably as saran wrap, but this could be maybe a layer of, of it. So we're gonna try this out. So let me show you what I all have that I'm gonna be adding and I will share like which one is which, if it's the kids or if it's for the grownups. So I have everything in the way that I want it for how I'm going to wrap it. So I have my candy over here. Not all of the candy is gonna be used for this game. I have some candy canes. They might get broken with doing this just because they're not very bendable. I have some, a package of candy right here. I'll open that up. And then I found these Christmas vacation little coins. I have some Grinch candy. I have some peanut butter tree candies. I have these little snowmen there. I have one of these. This is gonna be for the adult one. Some of the kids cannot have peanut butter and some cannot have chocolate, but I can still add it to the ball and I will give them something like this instead of this. And this I can still add because the person that has the allergy to peanuts is not a very strong allergy. So I just wanna point that out that if you're gonna do something like this and you're gonna put peanut butter in for a kid one, make sure that, that that group of kids cannot have peanut butter in case that's gonna be an issue. I just know that I can with with mine. So that's pretty much it for the candy. This is, there's a lot of candy in here, so I'll just use whatever for that. And then I have four of these nerd ropes and these can be wrapped and bent. So we will, you know, that'll be easy for me to do. I thought it would be funny to add some ramen noodles in there. So I have one for the big and one for the little group. 
Okay, so at the dollar store, I got these little squishy things. So I'm gonna open these up because we're not gonna give it as a package. We're gonna use them individually. I found this at Fleet Farm. It's just a little squeeze ball. I got two of these, they're little suckers. So I guess this would have been in with the candy, but I got two of them. And then I have this mystery pack erasers. Oh, this was, I think, supposed to go in for, oh no, I got one for there too, okay. So there's four of them in here, so I'll open that up. And these are little washcloths from the dollar store. And then I have that, so with boy and girl. And then I thought it would be cute to add these to that, so I'll be taking these off. They're just little ornaments. And then a little squishy from the dollar store. This spinner, I think I got from Fleet Farm. And this little ball I got at Walmart, and I think it was only like two to three dollars. And this I got at Fleet Farm, some ramens. So I thought that was kind of funny. And these little stick guys, that's it for like the kids stuff. And then I'm also gonna add some money and some coins. So we'll try to get this ball as big as we can. And there might be toys that are not mixed in in certain layers. But we'll see. We'll see how I can put this together. Okay, for the big kid one, I have this fun popper. I have these little poppet things. And then the laser I got it at the Dollar Tree. I got this at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was be kind of funny for the big kids. And then um, that one. And I got some electronic wipes. I got some of these erasers and another squish. One of the kids that likes sloths is gonna be in this group. So I got that one in there. And then I found this too, um, Post Shave Instant Nick Care. So we'll see how this is gonna be, but I thought it would be funny to mix that in there. And I got some mustaches. We got that at the dollar store. Or maybe I got this at Fleet Farm. I think I might've got this at Fleet Farm. This I got at the dollar store. It's no water needed toothbrushes with little picks on the end. But that was funny. Um, some utter smooth hand cream from the dollar store. I got a Starbucks gift card for five bucks. Uh, Dunkin' Donut for five bucks, uh, toe warmers, hand warmers, ramen noodles, and then some eye patches. And what else? Am I missing anything? Yep. Is that good? I think that's everything for. No, you forgot this. No, I said that one already. And then, yeah, the hot pads. I think that's it. So we're going to get started here and we're going to wrap this together. I almost feel like I should have got more stuff, but I think this is gonna work. So, no, we gotta we gotta take it out of the package and then we're gonna wrap it up in a big ball. These are funny. These. Yeah, I know. I think that that's gonna be funny. So I'm not sure. Maybe I can. Maybe I can take a couple of them out and put them in the kid one too. That might be funny too. So. Four in the big kid, three in the little kid. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think that is pretty much everything. So we're gonna get started here and we're gonna start wrapping. I think what I'm gonna do first is the first thing inside is gonna be the thing that they're trying to get. So like for the big kids, I might put um, a gift card as one of the first, like the last thing to get, like the thing that you're working towards. Um, and for the kids, it'll probably be some money or something in there. So, for them to try to get. So we're gonna see how I'm gonna wrap this up, but I think we're gonna get started here so we can get this done.
I have the little kid one done, I was able to use a full roll. So I had a half a roll and then I used another half a roll and I still have a little bit on there. So I was wondering how much it was gonna take. So I would think maybe around a whole roll. And I didn't think it was even gonna get this big with whatever, but adding, started adding this stuff, it did. So I think, and then I left some rows open so they couldn't um like some rounds they're not going to get anything in it so just it makes it a lot trickier oh, so some rounds you won't get some no okay so i'm going to start with the big kid group now So I got both of the balls done and what I ended up doing is I needed to use about one roll of saran wrap per ball. Now if you're going to get the ones from the dollar store, I would get two anyway. So I would get four, I would get two for one ball. So I would have needed four if I wouldn't have had like the bigger rolls from Walmart. So just get a big roll from Walmart if that's what you're going to do. Um, but I was able to make them this big, so that's pretty cool. I didn't even think that I would get them even this big. So I only had that many toys and little things to fit in there. So I didn't realize how big it was gonna get as I built it up. So you don't need a lot. I thought I needed more to make them bigger, but you don't. Um, I know it helped with the ramen noodle package in there that's a little bit bigger. And then some of the stuff, if you have to have the packaging in there, that makes it bigger also. I wasn't gonna do the candy canes after because I was like, they're just gonna get broken anyways, but I was able to lay them on a flatter surface in there and that worked. For the little kids, what I told them is they can wear one mitt and then have one hand free and for the big kids, they have to use both mitts. And I still don't know what I'm gonna do game-wise. So I think that's what we're gonna do is the little kids can have one mitt on and then they have to have one mitt off. I think that's gonna be easier. Otherwise, it's just gonna get frustrating because some things are big and hard to work with. But for the big kids, I think it's gonna be funny. I think we're gonna be laughing. Um, <laughs> one of the kids are like, Victoria's gonna be laughing really hard, my oldest daughter, and I'll be laughing videotaping. I'm not gonna participate. I'm gonna be videotaping and doing that. So I have another game that we're gonna do if we can do it if Lauren lets us, and that's gonna be an outside game, and then this game. And then maybe for Christmas, I'll do this one again, and come up with another one for Christmas. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but you can, like I said, you can tie this in with any event. It is a fun, this would be a fun birthday one. If you wanna do uh, like a smaller birthday gift, or if you're just doing money, or candy and money, you could do it this way. That would be a lot of fun. So just wanted to share this with you because Christmas is coming up and you can add this to your uh, one of your games for Christmas. This is what we're doing for Thanksgiving. So I'm a little late on getting this video out for you guys. Um, but I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was a good idea to do this. I had a lady at my work that was sharing with me some of the games that they're gonna be playing for Thanksgiving. And this is one of them. And I was like, oh, that's such a great idea because I needed another game uh, to do with these guys. So I'm happy that it turned out the way that it did. And for candy, I thought I needed a lot of candy also, but I didn't. So you can just grab one of them packs of candy like this 
I think this was like six or seven dollars and you could just use that as your filling candy. You don't need to get like all the other extra stuff. But the stuff that I have extra is gonna be for their St. Nick anyways. So I'm okay with having all the extra. But, so hopefully you guys liked today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have played this game before, because I have not, um, but I've watched my kids play it, and I know that they, they really enjoy it. So you guys liked today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.